Uh, welcome to this module on uh, boost converters, where we try to boost up a given input uh, uh, DC voltage. And again, this has a host of applications uh, because this is used in making up the switching power pole in, uh, <clears throat> in synthesizing AC. And so we'll look at the operation of these uh, boost converters once again in continuous conduction mode just like we did for the buck converter. So when it comes to boost converter, we use the same switching power pole, except please note the positions of uh, the transistor and the diode. So the transistor is in the bottom position, and the diode is in the top position, and uh, uh, the input voltage is on the current port side, and the load is on the voltage port side across this capacitor over here. So what essentially goes on here is that when we turn on this transistor, we build up the current through the inductor in this direction. And when we open this transistor here, this current then flows through the output stage like this here. So, and uh, commonly, this uh, boost converter is shown as shown here. It's just uh, flipped around. So the input is shown on the left side and the output shown on the right side here, but it's the same circuit. And uh, the transistor is controlled by this uh, switching signal here, and the power flow here is from left to right, uh, as shown here. <clears throat> so let's look at uh, this uh, uh, converter in steady state under continuous conduction mode here. So there are two uh, circuit uh, substates, when the transistor is on, this diode gets reverse biased here. And uh, when the transistor is off, then the, the inductor current flows through this uh, diode here. <clears throat> so let's uh, take this switching signal here for a given duty uh, cycle. It's on, otherwise zero. So what's happening is that uh, when the transistor, transistor is on, this VA plotted over here is zero, right here. And uh, when we turn off this transistor in this state here, the, this V sub A is equal to the output voltage here. As you can appreciate, the diode is conducting, and therefore it has zero voltage across it. So it jumps up to VO. So this waveform then repeats with this uh, switching time period over here. And then we can find uh, its average, uh, and uh, this average for VA uh, is equal to uh, this uh, sh shown here by this dotted line over here. And uh, that average is equal to VN because the average voltage across an inductor in steady state is zero. So average of VA is equal to VN, and that is sh shown here. And uh, so from this, we can then uh, come to the conclusion that uh, the voltage ratio here, V0 or Vn, is equal to uh, 1 over 1 minus D. And uh, so D, since it's in the range of 0 to 1, this uh, duty ratio, uh, V0 is always greater than the input voltage, hence the name boost converter here. Now, given this uh, uh, inductor voltage that we can obtain, uh, it's really the difference between this input and VA, and VA waveform is shown here. So uh, we can get this uh, inductor voltage, and uh, therefore we can get the ripple in the inductor current, and that, if you just consider the, uh, the on interval of the transistor, uh, the peak-to-peak -peak ripple is given by this expression, which uh, then can be written like this over here. And uh, <coughs> uh, the complete inductor waveform would be equal to this uh, uh, current. Its average is equal to the input current here. And uh, equating the input power to the output power, we can find out what this average inductor input current is and that is also the average inductor current. And if we superimpose on it the ripple in this inductor current, then we get the complete waveform 
for the inductor current. All right, and uh, <coughs> uh, we can also plot what this uh, current through the diode here would be. Uh, it's flowing only when the transistor is off, otherwise it's zero. And uh, similarly, we can uh, calculate what this uh, capacitor current would be, uh, which is uh, essentially the, the ripple in the diode current here. All right, so uh, that uh, pretty much completes the, uh, the description of uh, the buck con a boost converter, I should say, in steady state. And we can model it in piecewise, as shown here, and certain waveforms are shown. Uh, the inductor current is shown in green here. So this is I sub L. And then uh, uh, we also have the, uh, the inductor voltage shown here in, in red here. <clears throat> it's important to note that uh, uh, in a CCM, continuous conduction mode, uh, this ratio of output to input is 1 over 1 minus D. But if the load uh, were to decrease uh, be below a certain level, so if the current uh, inductor current becomes less than some critical value, uh, this converter would go into what is called a discontinuous conduction mode. That means uh, uh, when during the off interval of the transistor, uh, in the continuous conduction mode, the current was flowing through the diode, but uh, when it reaches the discontinuous conduction mode, that current can become discontinuous and become zero. And if that happens, this the voltage ratio begins to increase and uh, it can become uh, dangerously high. So one has to be very careful in operating these converters here. So in summary, uh, you know, we have looked at boost converters in terms of its applications and its operation in, uh, in steady state under continuous conduction mode.